Didn't get a really good look last night in the dark. I'm back, baby. Love castles and cathedrals. And this is one of the most beautiful castles in the world. The castle's about to close in 20 minutes. I want to see the cathedral. That's really what I'm like. Cathedrals, I want to see it. So, right there. This is the St. Vitus Cathedral. Oh, that is massive. That's one of the original Christian sanctuaries. Love sites like this. Yeah. This is like the reason I come to Europe. Oh, this is where you see something beautiful. Finally gonna grab some authentic Czech food and this place is supposed to be amazing. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that. I'm really here for a couple things. Pork knuckles and dumplings. And of course, I don't drink alcohol, but uh, he said this non-alcoholic beer is delicious. So, when in Prague, gotta have some beer. This is what I can have. Dumplings. Oh, thank you, thank you. Oh my God. This is massive. Over a kilo of all pork and fat and meat and juice. This is the thing to eat in Prague, the pig knuckle. Some horseradish, some mustard, that's all you need in this big, massive knuckle with some dumplings. Yeah, that's, that's, that's how dumplings are here in Prague. That is some tender, tender pork. I mean, this thing, you can almost pull this apart with your fork and look at the juice. Look at the juice. Oh, best thing I had in Czech so far. Granted, I haven't had a lot of stuff. Best thing I had. Wash that down with a little non-alcoholic beer. <sighs> yeah, I don't like beer much. Little dumplings. I was, I was thinking I would have some sauce on this, but I guess when you order a whole pig leg, you can kind of dip, dip the dumpling into the sauce. There you go. I, I think I still prefer uh, the Chinese dumplings better, but this is definitely a fulfilling food item. Get a piece of skin, some horseradish. It doesn't look the prettiest. Mm. That skin is just what I thought. Chewy, very fatty, very gelatinous. Goes perfect with all the mustard and horseradish. This is my type of meal. I love simple rustic foods like this. Meaty, porky, fatty, what is not to love about it? Nothing. Little pork. Dunk a little dumpling. This is what I've been looking for. Now I'm happy. Now I feel like I'm in check. Let's go climb this thing. Sort of spooky. That was like an hour standing on top of a tower, freezing cold, squished by all the other Asians trying to do the same thing I was. My luggage finally got here. I can't wait to actually go work out now. I actually have workout clothes. So back to the hotel, working out, then going to bed. So my local friends love this place because they said it's like a cantina. You just grab your tray, you get a little slip, and there's tons of foods. Oh my gosh. Desserts here, sweet cuisine over there, salads, we'll skip that line. Okay, so this is the main food over here. Got our food. Got a pork schnitzel and a goulash with dumplings. Brenda got beef with mushrooms. Thank you. This place, I was thinking what it reminded me of. It reminded me of, of a dim sum place. 
They just take your sheet, they, they, they ride on it and get you food, and you tattle it up later. I mean, it looks like a giant heaping mess, which is just how I like anything to go with my, with my carbs. And this, of course, the traditional dumplings. And pork schnitzel, spicy goulash, by the way. Mm. This is great. I love this whole setup, it's really quick. It's like a cafeteria style. Food is actually really, really good. Pork schnitzel. Mm. That's delicious. These dumplings remind me of the Chinese manto, which is basically, I mean, it's essentially the same thing as the manto. It's just a steamed bun, basically, and it soaks up the sauce very, very, very well. Mm -hmm. The goulash is like, it's just like a spicy beef stew. Really tender beef. Actually, I really like this with the, with the schnitzel because it's a completely different texture. I mean, one side is it's pretty soft and saucy, and one side is just nice crunch, you know? It's delicious. I will have to say though, that is so heavy. I mean, food here is so heavy. I wouldn't be able to do like any jumping around restaurant food tours in, 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 in this country. One place is just gonna sink me. It's a delicious sinking feeling, but it will sink me. Now we got fruit dumplings. These are two separate, different types of fruit dumplings. As, as with most food here, it is super thick and heavy. I mean, this is basically a, a, a bow. A Czech version of a bow. I think my workout routine will have to double if I ever live in this country. Oh, that is a very tangy plum. Um, the outside, that's kind of what I expected. It's kind of semi soggy steamed bun. Very dense, incredibly dense. And you kind of need this, uh, this cream because there's, there's really not much flavor on the outside of the dough. And the filling is a little too tart for me, so this is orange. Oh, that's thick. Wow, that is very doughy too. Honestly, not my thing. It's way too doughy and way too, way too thick. Don't eat that without tea or water or something. All right, I have to get another burger before I'm out of here. And the only place to do it is this Masse place. There's a lot of blacksmith shops in this town, so I think this will be the safest city whenever a zombie apocalypse happens. The a cooking course I've been working on for over a year just went live. The people who helped me made it, they just texted me. Uh, cooking course just went live. If you don't know what the heck I'm talking about, I'll put a link down below. It's like a video cooking course and then a written course and then like pictures. If you want to check it out, authenticmadeeasy.com. I'll put the link down below, but pretty exciting. People are already messaging me about it. Cool, check it out. I left the burger place um, because while I was in line, someone told me about this place. And also I remember like a couple of you guys messaged me about it. So this is kind of a similar concept with another butcher shop. You order your stuff. A lot more seating though. I think this is actually a restaurant. Self-service. There's freshly cooked meat here. I mean, this place is just a carnivore's paradise. And then you go and go to the butcher shop, which is here. It's sort of like the last one. Look at that steak. Look at a yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> this is my table now. Oh, here we go. Thank you so much. I feel like I should be clubbing someone on the head right now. Yeah, steak with a side of burger. Yeah. Thank you so much. Oh, good God. Look at this burger. Steak. Grilled perfectly. They only did medium rare, so this thing is gonna be a little bloody. Oh, so good. I ate so much meat today, I feel like I need some of these veggies. I just smell the dry age. Damn, right here. Oh. That is so good. Smoky Wagyu burger. Everything you want in a perfect burger. Juicy, beefy, slight dry aged aroma. Mm. I know this is not like a traditional Czech food item, but when you come to Prague, get yourself a burger. Either at this place or the other butcher shop. Burgers rule in this city. And they give you this little sauce for the steak, little spicy chili thing. Mmm. 
also garlic chili peppers. It really makes your steak way more fragrant. I think both of these butcher shops, like, if you want to actually sit down, this is the place for you. I think meat quality, cooking style is pretty much similar. You can't go wrong with either one of them. But whatever you do, always get a side of burger. This burger. Oh. Oh. Look all right. I only got this one soon. Hey, thank you, thank you. Hello. I think this is the pre-award party. I mean, it's a lot of really famous, popular people here. We're slowly being called into something. You guys ever seen the island? Like, are we going to the island? I'm gonna follow her. She doesn't look like she's taking me to the island. I'm not supposed to open the door by myself. This is about as Hollywood as I'm gonna get right now. Thank you, thank you. No idea what's going on. So there's people posing all over the place. Instagram people, TikTok people, a bunch of people. Well, this is like an event. Wow. This is where everybody is. Ready for the show. Hello. 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 Okay, thank you. Okay, yeah, thank you. It's really important for you to sit on the right side. Okay. Your guest on the left. Gotcha. All right, thank you. On the text. It's my face. Oh, it's a text. Hopefully, the so, internet's working. Ross, Smith, and Greg, 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 Woohoo! Hey, the show's over. I gotta say, uh, this year I went to a couple of award shows the Shorty, well, and this, and then I guess our, our, our cheese show won a telly. That's cool. But this is definitely a great event. It's their first year, but already, I mean, Shorty was just a boring show, like nothing was going on. This is a lively, I mean, you saw this, it was a great show. I'm really sleepy, I got a flight tomorrow. I wanna go back, just go to bed, and maybe work out. Going back to New York today, breakfast, airport. As much as I enjoy Prague, in such a beautiful city, had a great time at the event. I'm ready to go home because I'm moving to Seattle in literally three days. Three days counting this flight. Yeah, I'm moving, again, across the country driving. A lot of stress, a lot of excitement. This route is going to be really fun. I plan a really fun food route. You know what? I just kept thinking about this burger. <sighs> what I love about this place is that not only is it amazing and delicious, they're open for breakfast at 8.30 in the morning. So if you want a nice cut of steak or a burger at 8.30 in the morning, you can come here for that. So I got burger and a bone marrow. Finally got my bone marrow. Breakfast of champions. I think so. Burger, bone marrow. 8.30 in the morning. I will eat this any day of the week. I I absolutely adore, adore their burger. And I'm so glad I'm able to eat it one last time before I leave. And the bone marrow, this is always sold out whenever I ask for it. I'm so happy, so happy to have it. So happy. No wonder there's a soda every day. This is everything good in life spread over toast. Mm. And the burgers. I mean, look at the steak. Cooked perfectly. Tell me you don't want a bite of this. 8.30 in the morning, 3 a.m. in the morning, whenever this thing comes a calling, you're gonna wanna take a bite. Yeah, this is why I don't go for traditional breakfasts. Things like this. <laughs> oh my God, this looks so good. I miss this place. This is my favorite place in Prague. 8.30 in the morning. Where else can you go? 8.30 in the morning, get a delicious, like I'm not talking about like a deli in New York that's open 24 hours. Where can you go 8.30 in the morning and get such quality burgers? No one's giving you bone marrow. And certainly if you ask for steak, that's not gonna happen. But here, what's this? So quality. I mean, every single bite. Oh, that's a meaty, juicy eruption in your mouth. Come here and get this. This is gonna be a great last memory of Prague before I leave. Mm. 
that's really cool. It's a capsule sleeping pods inside a Russian hotel. And the Lion King is playing. I was supposed to be here at 11.30, it's now 2 a.m. Now the drive home because I missed my bed. Fell flat and died last night as soon as I got back. Got back at four in the morning. Oh, I don't even know if I'm awake now, but I gotta go in the city. I'm gonna do one last live stream before I get out of New York. And then tomorrow, driving to Seattle. I gotta see Ben though, I haven't seen Ben in so long. Let's go, let's go hang out with Ben. So I finished up my ramen video, my New York City ramen tour number three, part three video last week, but then someone told me about this. Nakamura just opened this place called Niche. It's supposed to be amazing. It's basically Mazamin, which is a uh, brothless ramen, but it's closed. It's not open till five. I think we'll just go to Nakamura, which is an amazing place as well. Hey, What's up, buddy? Hey, How you doing, man? You ready for some ramen? Yeah. Sorry, that place is closed till today. What's up with that? This place is really good. Do so you like pork or you like chicken? Uh, you like ramen? Yeah. I mean, I'm not like, ramen's not like, not crazy. You wanna go eat burgers instead? No, we can do this. They have, a, they have two new noodles here that I haven't had last time. So I'm gonna get the Dava Sukainen and a Tan Tan Man. I'm gonna try it out and let you guys know what I think. This is so good. Oh my god. That is a powerful ramen. This thing should come with a cake. A little softer than I would have liked. I probably would have liked it a little harder. But good lord. This is my type of thing. I'm really into heavily seasoned noodles and broth. I know it says Nakamura on the bowl. I should also say poor Mike on the bowl. This is definitely my thing. And if you think it's too salty, eat some veggies. Hold that. It's very sesame. The meat I love. The meat has all the flavors required of a tan tan man. Spicy, it's nutty, peppery. I think as long as you use some noodles with the meat. You get that good flavor of the spice and numbiness. The noodles itself, it just tastes a lot of the sesame flavor. Not a lot of the spice. Actually, not at all of the spice. Not at all of the pepperiness. So a lot of these two. I definitely preferred the Zucayman um, over these cold noodles. Still good, but not as good. Yo, so Ben's wait, famous doing, now. <laughs> yeah, do, 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 people, do people come up to you now, right? I got stopped on the street once, yeah. That's funny, yeah, that's, that's funny. funny stuff. All right, bro, good seeing you. All right, man, yeah, good seeing you, man. All right, buddy. Let's do this right. soon. Get out of here. You know, as you grow older, you like, I feel like you have less and less friends because, you know, life gets in the way. Friends get married and whatever. Ben's like my, my one friend like that I still have that I've known for about 15 years like he's like the only person I ever hang out with and that's not even that often but it's really good dude all right I'm gonna go stream for about four hours if you don't know I'm streaming on twitch uh twitch.tv slash e with Mikey I'll put that link down below so if you want to watch me stream live stream I do it several times a week check out that channel so after all I'm stopping at King's Dumpling now this is a place where if you remember back then I said I had a favorite dumpling they just took a photo of me um, I had a favorite dumpling place in New York City. It was called Prosperity Dumpling. It used to be way over there around the corner. Then they got shut down for uh, making dumplings in the alley, which I think is totally fine. Like, where else are you gonna make dumplings? You need the space. It's the space. It's not like they're making it on the ground. So then they finally reopened King's Dumpling. But I'll tell you if it's just as good as the original. Okay, so these are, you still get four dumplings, but before it was a dollar for five. Now it's a dollar for 150, which is still a good deal. Sriracha. I remember these being incredibly meaty, which they look at, and crispy on the bottom, soft on the top, and a very, very big filling. It's supposed to be really juicy as well. It's way, I remember it. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's everything I remembered it to be. What's so great about these dumplings, in comparison to like, overhyped places like Vanessa's, is that, you guys see the wrapper is really, really thin. And the meat is humongous. So you don't get a very doughy bite, like a very light bite and juicy bite as well. So yeah, King's Dumpling, this is where you go for dumplings now, guys. Come to New York, 
Can you don't play? There's no hot oil here. That's the only bummer thing. There's no hot oil. There's vinegar, but there's no hot oil. Mmm. So good. It's exactly like I remember that. Recipe didn't change a bit. Man, these are so good. So good. I can't believe I'm leaving tomorrow. I just found this place. This is kind of like the food god working against me. Mmm. It's almost too good. My favorite, favorite, favorite dumpling is still in Queens, but oh my god, if you're in Manhattan, you gotta like this best fried dumpling. I always pair these two up. Dumplings with sesame beef pancake. A massive pancake stuffed with, well, maybe I shouldn't say stuffed, with beef inside. From this angle, it looks like a sesame pancake crocodile. Is there coconut with gold? I, I really didn't want the gold, I just wanted the coconut, but if you want the coconut, it comes with the gold. and. That makes this thing eight bucks. I don't really feel like this is worth eight dollars at all. This is the dumbest thing. It's good. It's not worth eight dollars. I will never get this again. It's good. And I really wanted something coconutty. I didn't know it was eight dollars before I bought it. I just got the small, and they were like eight dollars. I'm like, what? I actually asked them if I give a discount if I don't have the gold on there. You turned me down. All right, back again. Second attempt to go to a niche. It should be open this time. Right here. Okay, this place only has uh, dry ramen, like I said, mazamen. So brothless ramen. And this is the specialty steak mazamen. Steak, perfectly cooked. Tender, juicy. There's a lot of flavor here, too. I mean, $21 is a little steep, even for New York ramen, but imagine you're paying partially for steak. Which you are. Noodles are exactly what you think they should taste like. So chewy. Perfect kind of noodles for this, because anything thinner, I feel like I wouldn't be able to grab onto the sauce as well. Really makes for a satisfying meal. Alright, now, now the ramen video is truly over. Bye!